Hey, my name is Eric with The Culture Project, and this video is for all the women wondering, how do I show a guy I'm interested? I want to clarify one thing right out of the gate. What I hope to share is not a remedy for immature men. This means that although what I share may be helpful regarding men who are prepared to enter into a dating relationship, not all men are there yet. And I'll explain more about that as I go, but for now, let's jump right into it. Let's say you meet this guy and he's funny and good looking and you find yourself developing an attraction to him. That's all good, but how are you supposed to show him that? First, we have to lay down the groundwork. Check your intentions. Now this is something I encourage everyone to do before pursuing a dating relationship. This means reflecting on our desires for this relationship and being honest with ourselves. Are we looking to date because we're feeling bored or lonely? Are we still healing from another heartbreak? Do we have the time to commit to a serious relationship right now? These are several important questions to reflect on before moving forward. Second, don't project your desires. This means that although a guy may seem nice or has a few attractive qualities, he may not be healthy to date. Just because he checks a few boxes on your Mr. Right list doesn't mean that he automatically checks them all. It's important to examine him through the lens of reality as opposed to the lens of assumption. This also means that you shouldn't date him just because you see what he can become. Because at that point, you'd be dating a project, not a person. Third, build a healthy friendship. This can be tough to do in situations where you find yourself attracted to a person right away, but it's so beneficial in the long run. See how he interacts in group settings, how he treats other women he's around, and what his desires are. Getting to know him as a friend may prove to be very revealing. So with that said, it's time to jump into the practicals. We've gone through the steps above and now it's time to actually express interest. Step one, be clear. I believe that a man should be the one to initiate in a relationship. However, this does not mean that you cannot drop hints. Unfortunately, many hints will go over a man's head or he may find himself scared to act on them. Either scenario is obviously not desirable. So when it comes to these hints, set healthy boundaries for yourself and make them as clear as possible. For example, if he mentions an interesting hobby or a passion, you could respond with, I'd love to hear more about that sometime. Step two, show him that he's welcome. This means inviting him along from time to time when you and your friends do something fun, like going to a party or an event. Now these are simple things that can be done in a group setting for the sake of accountability and demonstrate that his presence is wanted. Until he asks you out on a date, I'd also recommend that any exclusive time together be kept to a minimum. This is helpful for the sake of defining the relationship. Finally, step three, allow yourself to be pursued. Waiting for him to initiate can often be an exhausting process, but if you've gone about it properly, it'll be so worth it. So let him take initiative, let him plan the date, Give him opportunities to make decisions and allow yourself to be revered in this way. Maybe the first date doesn't go to your expectations, but at least you get a chance to see if he's trying and therefore deserving of an opportunity to pursue you further. Now, I just wanna reiterate that this is not a guaranteed system. It's just my insight from a man's perspective. Nonetheless, I can say this for certain. Women, you are good and deserving of love and a man's failure to pursue you properly does not change that. So be patient and trust that healthy boundaries do not scare good men away. Rather, they challenge them to love you properly. Now, as a man who's been called on in this way, I can firmly stand by that statement. Never settle for less. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and hear for more videos. And for more info, visit thecultureproject.org.